Hello guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're gonna take a look at how I use Linux for my daily life and college and my uh, basic workflow. So uh, to begin with the window manager that I use is uh, DWM. Uh, let me do a quick near fetch. So as you can see uh, I'm using uh, DWM. The theme that I currently have is cat puchin purple and then uh, i have that as my uh, default icon themes uh yeah so after that uh so to begin with my browser that i i mean the terminal that i'm using is uh alacrity and the browser that i use is uh liberal wolf uh it's very uh secure and it has all the default privacy stuff built in so this is my uh start page uh that i copied from yet another generic start page i will link down link the uh github repository down below so uh, my start page basically takes me to my college stuff my personal stuff and then some medias i still need to add some more stuff in here but right now i think this is good enough for now and yeah that's my uh browser and my start page uh and in my terminal so how i move around uh my let me share let's open a screen share screen screen keys so the way I move around uh, my desktop in desktop is let's say I use the command I mean the super key and then the workspace number to switch between the workspaces that you can see up here and uh, I have the commands that I type down below all that stuff and to open up a new terminal all I need to do is super shift enter enter and if I do super mod it's uh, tiling manager so every time a new one will open up and the other one will split up and it will basically create a uh, that's what it does uh, if I do T it takes me to the normal uh, stack and master view let's close that uh, to resize uh, you just do H and J to resize it and then to move up the stack, you just do K and uh, J to move up and down. Uh, I have two windows to switch between windows. I just press uh, comma and period with mod key pressed. Yeah, and that switches the monitors and stuff. So one of the awesome things about this is, let's say I'm working on something and then I need to go to my browser I know it it's in a uh, second workspace I can search something up and then I can just with my keyboard go to first screen third screen let's say I need uh, I'm doing something I also need let's see what else do I need let's say I need verb suit I open it in uh, Windows third three works third workspace and then I do my stuff in here and then I want to go to third workspace I go up there and uh no. yes and that will allow me to keep everything uh in place and i can switch my workspaces pretty easily uh and then i won't have to like you know use my mouse all the time and then like drag drop and all that stuff that's that's annoying stuff so now that's done uh the main thing that I do uh, in my college as a computer engineering major is write a bunch of papers and a bunch of codes so I will be I basically spend like almost all my time either in a browser researching or mostly in a terminal so to be very efficient in terminal having to open new terminal every single time you want to do something is annoying so uh, the tool that I use is called Tmux and uh, there is a script that Primogen 
if you don't know who that is uh i'll link it down in my description he's a really awesome awesome uh youtuber and twitch streamer he makes a lot of good videos about uh programming and having efficient workflows and all that stuff so this is what I where I copied this script from. It's called Tmux uh, Sessionizer, and what it does is it basically opens up all the files system, like it lists down and allows me to choose from it, right? So let's say I need to work on a lab, and search up my lab, and then let's say I want to need to work on lab five. Okay, there's already one running, so let me just attach. And it opens up Tmox with uh, Lab 5, right? And then uh, you can see that there's Lab 5 over here and uh, the windows over there. So what I can do with this is, let's say I want to write some report. I can go to report.txt. It opens up the LaTeX uh, file. And then uh, I can do LLP start preview. Start preview to start up the preview of my lab report and let's say i'm working on that but then i need something else uh i like to listen to my spotify from here so i have my spotify running uh, in my terminal over here and then i want to go to lab 5 do that it says there are a bunch of windows i can go to different stuff let's say i feeling very adventurous today and then I want to do some DWM config so I can go to DWM we'll look at my DWM config .def .h, and then I can change my stuff let's say right then and there someone texts me and be like oh did you finish that question number or are you stuck on that question or something like that and all I need to do is control F and let's say someone asking me about CS211 right let's say I type CS211 and then I go to my stuff and then I can basically uh, vim project and then here's my project I can be like yep open and then I can go back to working on my DWM and I can just pop back in here and help someone else so it allows me to be very 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 productive even when other people are trying to distract you from being productive by ruining your workflow but this makes sure that you can always switch between stuff fast and you don't even have to like bother using the mouse like you're always on keyboard typing something and uh this thing the pdf viewer that i use is called uh jatura and uh it has vim keybinds uh as you can see i'm using jk to move down and forth gz to go up shift j to come all the way to the down and yeah even like viewing all the documents you don't need to take your fingers off of your keyboard it's really smooth and works pretty good uh and for my note taking i use uh, obsidian let's say uh so in obsidian i also have uh keybinds so there are basic keywords like control O to open up stuff, uh, open any file, and then I do control O. Let's say I need to uh, jump to uh, linear algebra stuff. I just do that and I get into the linear algebra nodes. And let's say I want to open up something else. I do control O. Uh, uh, cru crucicles algorithm I uh, the control shift enter wait hold on how did it not work all right control enter opens up it in new plane and then uh to go like to switch between planes it's just i just use control shift and then vim keywise uh, H and uh, L to go back and forth and let's say I need to open something else in here uh, Crystal's algorithm or let's say math 125 so yeah uh, this is how I take my notes uh, I don't really take a whole lot of notes but when I do I just use this
Take my notes, my graph isn't that big. But one thing about this is like looking at the graphs, I don't know about everyone, but it motivates me to make this graph bigger and bigger. And I write notes just to make this thing bigger. And I think that allows me, that, like that motivates me to have more notes as well as, you know, I can remember stuff while writing the notes. So that's what I use for note taking. Uh, to manage my uh, everyday life, I just use Google Calendar because uh, it's just the simplest way to do it. To manage uh, my to-do lists, uh, I actually started using this tool called Do It, and uh, I can like manage my to-do list from my terminal with that. So yeah. I just do that uh, using do it and for my terminal client I use Thunderbird uh, for all my school personal and work emails and everything else uh, I check emails once a day I mean twice a day once in the morning and once in the night and mm, yeah that's about it So the text editor that I use is NeoVim, if you don't know, and that's mostly what I do every single day, I write code and research stuff using browser or read articles. Oh yeah, one, one more thing, one more cool thing that I want to show you. I think most of you have already seen it, but if you haven't, there are two applications that I use. Any CLI. This uh, allows you to watch anime from your terminal with MPV. All right, let's say uh, 11. I've already watched Guru Kuna Basketball, but just there. All right, when I do that, and it opens up an MPV player like that. Oh, you, why is it dubbed? Uh, that's a cool uh, script, any CLI. I'll also, I'll also link that in the description box. The other thing is Manga CLI. Uh, okay, looks like I cannot continue from before. Oh wait, no, there is. Last session, that basically opens up the last uh, session. Uh, I want to search another manga. Let's see which one I want to I search. Uh, one, the one that I recently finished reading was Summertime Render. Let me search up Tokyo Revengers. Uh, chapter, I think I left out my chapter 200. It downloads the images, it converts to PDF. And then uh, it opens up using, using Zatura and I can use Vim keybinds to go back and forth like that and so on and so forth which is really cool. I sometimes uh, read manga, you know, sometimes I read manga a lot but doing that from terminal is just a plus and it keeps track of where you are and you don't have to worry about it like forgetting what chapters uh, you're on. I didn't used to use it before, I just re recently started using it and I, I love it. Uh, oh yeah, the patches that I have installed for DWM are, let's see, uh, uh, status command, I did that for emojis and stuff which I don't really need it anymore because I decided to go with a plane glyphs instead of uh, colored emoji and then I use SysTray. I really love SysTray. Having system tray is really uh, useful for me and vanity gaps. I love the gaps around my uh, terminal. I use that. Uh, you can find uh, my DWM patch in my github and if you like the rice you can also find that in my github which will also be linked in description box below. Yeah, uh, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys liked it, learned something, uh, enjoyed. 
and see you guys in my next video.